All right, well today we are at the Goodwill and we are at the Goodwill in Le Moyne. We've had pretty decent luck the past few times we were here, so I'm hoping we're gonna have some luck today. So let's head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit, here we go. Somehow I always end up with the most annoying cart in the whole store and I'm not sure how it happens. <laughs> Looks like the brown section is pretty much cleared out. There's a vase down here. It's a very light ceramic and there is a chip on the edge. So we're gonna leave that one behind. This looks like it could be German. Nope, Royal Sealy Japan. I make a lot of these pieces. They're intended to look German and they're not. It's $3.99. And it is a vase. Um, well, maybe we'll grab that. I'm surprised there's no chips or cracks on it, honestly. This is just a piece of wood with a painting on it, but she actually did a really nice job Jane Mayberry. There's a little bit of chipping down at the bottom. But it's only 99 cents. What are these? Sia Nova. <laughs> Tartan. They look like they're saucers because they have a large indent in the middle. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? I like that. $4.99. I'm surprised there's no markings on that, to be honest. Look at that flower. Uh, there is a scratch there, but there's no chips or cracks on it. I guess today the theme is going to be flowers. This looks like a little sake bottle for $1.99. It's got the spout on it. It doesn't have any of its little friends, though. Isn't that puppy just adorable? <laughs> uh, $3.99. I don't see any damage on it. I'm confused why there's a light... Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> it is ceramic. I think it's more contemporary, but um, it's $3.99. That might be a piece that we, we buy and put away until Christmas time. Because we run mostly auctions, um, people have more interest in these items around Christmas time, and that's why we list ours around Christmas time. As opposed to if they were buy it now, we could just list them for the price that we want and then forget them. But I think we will hold that one until Christmas time and start it at four bucks. Wow, will you look at that. That looks like it could be yellow Smirano. Is it marked on the bottom? I don't see any markings. Usually it's etched. Does it say made in Italy? Agave bowl, $9.99. Wow. Yeah, I'm surprised that one's not marked. Home decor. I think this is sold at Home Goods. Um, I do love the color, and I'm surprised there's no chips or cracks. It's $9.99. That's something we could definitely ship. Uh, it's not too large that it can't be shipped, and it's not too thin that it's too fragile to be shipped. So I think I'm going to make a little room in my cart. You know, I'm thinking 45 to 65 bucks for that, if not more. I always love these little mail sorter things. I don't know why. I'm just drawn to them. This one is made in India. Um, this one is plastic. But this one is actually made of carved wood. And there is a little bit of splitting on the wood, but it's not terrible. And that's a desk accessory that I would put on my desk. I love the carved florals on it. So um, I think because this one is made of wood and not plastic, uh, it's, it's made in India, has its original sticker, we will take that one with us. You can see there's not a whole lot on the shelves. Uh, this definitely caught my eye. What is it? Oh, it's made of wood, $3.99. Look, it's got fish on it. I'm not really sure what its purpose would be if it would be a decorative, like just console bowl. Um, $3.99. There is a split. Let's see how bad that split is. I mean, it's not terrible. It doesn't go up into the actual bowl itself. You know what? I think I'll grab that. It's a nice decorative piece. Here are two very tiny little roly-poly glasses. Although it is a shame that they are taped together because it is going to pull the gold. You can see it already is pulling the gold. And those are like really taped together. There's no avoiding that. <laughs> $1.99. That's a bummer. They're pretty much worthless now. Oh, that's very sweet. Little duckies. Lillian Vernon. It's made to look like an old pantry box. Oh my gosh, is that the same mug we saw the other day? No, it's different. 
Um, no, it is. This is a Mandarin Duck mug. I saw one of these at the Shillington Goodwill, and it had a chip on it, and this is the exact same mug for $1.99 here at this Goodwill. That's funny. That's an adorable uh, little rack. Look at the bunnies on that. They're cute. This is a, what is that? VSR 1995. I like the florals on that one. Alright, let's go this way. Looks like there's some sunscreen. I didn't realize, but sunscreen does expire. Apparently this one's good until September 2023. Ashton actually has a sunscreen allergy, and uh, we've yet to find a sunscreen that doesn't give him a, a rash, so... <laughs> Fun fact. $1.99 on this little giraffe. He is sweet, but... Um, I don't think we need a giraffe today. A few pieces of art pottery. I feel like these were here before. I think that one's actually supposed to sit like that. Here is a rogue lid. It's like, that's kind of heavy. That's heavy enamel. I would love to find a piece that goes with this. You know, now it's not really the missing lid conspiracy anymore. It's the missing canister conspiracy. <laughs> Oh goodness, I looked at these the other day uh, thinking I liked the texture of them to be fire and light, but they are definitely not. Oh, here's a pressed flower art. You know, it's crazy because I have had one of these pieces before. I recognize the little marking right there. We weren't able to identify it, but we have actually bought and sold pieces similar to this. Uh, now, I would... I like it, I would buy it, but there's a lot of scuffing it and um, markings on it. And those are hard to get off of this uh, kind of bisque, bisque finish. So I think we'll pass on that today. Looks like we've got a cart sitting over here. And I always love to dig through the carts when they're just sitting around. There's some baskets in here. Harvests. What is this? Coasters. I like that little red bear down there. He's very sweet. I like that too. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright. Um, let's see. What is this? Cigar box, it looks like. Yep. Cigar box. Sneak. Right. Well, I don't think there's really much for us in here. So we are going to head down through the white section. I like the texture of those. Forget, forget whether or not they're glossy babies. I just like that texture. It kind of reminds me of winter. Those look interesting. What are those? Oh, it's a toucan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at that. Signed. Costa Rica. It's actually a signature. I think that's someone's name. Oh my goodness. He's got a crack in his head though. Can't tell if it's been repaired or maybe the crack isn't all the way through. And then you have a penguin. A penguin and a toucan together in a leaf. Oh my gosh. There's no price on this, but um, they do price things here uh, versus other Goodwills where they're like, nope, sorry, no price for you. Okay, well I'm going to take you down to this shelf down here and um, check these out these are silver fade um, in my earlier videos I was always under the impression that Dorothy Thorpe made a silver fade and my viewers later informed me that she did in fact only make a silver band so I did not know that um, and I learned that later on in my picking adventures fortunately these are showing some wear around the edges and they are wrapped in tape so I'm not sure if that's going to take off this silver um, little ice bucket. I like the ice bucket. I'd hate to split up this set though. $1.99. I mean, ugh, the tape. Why the tape? Look at that. Alright, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it because I don't want to split up this set. I feel like somebody might come around and be able to forgive it. Uh, the damage on the glasses, that is.
Can you see that hiding back there? There we go. That is a nice Bristol glass vase. $2.99. It is kind of a satin glass. Um, I thought at first it might have been a decanter, but I don't believe that it was. I think it's just a very thin bud face. And I love the hand painting on that. It's not enamel painting though, so I almost wonder if it was done after the fact. But I love the colors. I told you it was going to be a day of flowers. This also, is that Avon? I think maybe? I don't know, I get something bath oil. I think it is Avon. This. Who makes this? Checking the bottom because I remember the one time we comped out um, a decanter and it was Rydell and they sold for very, very good money. This is not one of those. It looks like the elephant bag is still here. And here's one of those fun um, candy wrapper bags. A lot of the times the foil on these candy wrappers will start to wear off. This one might not be candy wrappers, this might be made some, out of something else. I've bought and sold these in the past, but the results have always been mixed. It's only $3.99, but I think I'll pass on that. Check this out. And Dami, right? Collagen Electric Induction Caster Ceramic Kitchenware Series. Hmm, I love the wood handle on that. And the inside looks clean. I can't tell if it's actual wood or not. It's got some um, grease or something built up on it, but I think I'm going to look that one up. Well, I had previously skipped this aisle because it was a little bit crowded. But here we are in green. I'm seeing a lot of the same things that we saw the other day. Although here is a coffee made in Taiwan, $2.99. I think it's made to look like an old-fashioned coffee grinder. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably a vase. I don't know, I kind of like it, but <laughs> $2.99. I'm thinking it's probably a $12 to $18 item. I don't know. I mean, I think it would look cute in a coffee shop. That's kind of how I imagine it. So, we will grab that. What do we have? Nesco, Winter Wonderland. Oh, there's damage there on its tail. That's a shame. I think I've looked at this a few times since we've been in here. It's just a painted vase. All right, well, we are almost done going up and down the aisles. Ripen I was expecting that to be plastic. Oh, it is Home Trends Farm Fresh. That is pretty cute. I'm just not sure what the resale value of that would be since it is contemporary. I think those are made of resin. Look, there's some Egyptian decor here as well. <laughs> it's everywhere. $3.99 on that one. This is plastic. Here is a painted. <laughs> hey, you? Oh my gosh, it's been forever. Well, I just ran into a friend from my way back pre crazy lamp lady days, so that was exciting. Um, but anyway, this kind of caught my eye. I thought, oh, look, it's pottery, but it's really not all that exciting. What is that back there? Remember all those times I said, I really don't need any more Christmas, and here I am looking through the Christmas section. All right, so I did have a chance to look this up, and I could not find another one like it, but for only $2.99, I figured, why not? Like I said, it is clean on the inside, and um, it does have a really neat design, so we will take that. All right, well, I think that's probably it for us today. They are actually currently stocking the shelves, so I've been down the shelves at least once, and uh, I think I'm gonna get out of here now. Well, our total spend there today was $49. I feel like we got some pretty good stuff. I actually really like that green bowl. I know it's contemporary, um, but 
I like the color of it. So uh, we're going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on back to the shop. Where, and I'm probably going to take you guys with me because we've got some stuff to do at the shop. And uh, I'll see you there. Well, we are at the shop today and we've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, Andrew and I had an auction pickup earlier today um, where we bought $4,500 worth of stuff and so that stuff is now unloaded um, here at the shop and my job today is to go through that stuff, uh, get it put on the shelves and designate it for either buy it now or auction. We also have some stuff in the back seat that I purchased the other day at Black Rose of Chambersbury so I've got to um, disperse that as well and uh, we just got a lot of stuff so we're gonna head in and get to work so everything here in the corner is finally gone um, Angela's husband Dave came and picked it up and he is taking it to the auction and we are going to split the proceeds with him so all of it is gone and now we're going to build a new pile and Dave is going to come back to get the rest of it okay so the horrend rhino Horrend. Yeah, so we don't have a problem like we had we, with the Murano bowl that I double boxed. Yes. That they kicked around and it looked like they kicked it around. So this is a $1,200 piece of porcelain. It is. He is in that box caddy corner, completely yeah. encased in bubble wrap more than I've ever encased anything in bubble wrap. Okay. Then I bubble wrap the box. I see that. There's a, a big wad about that thick on the bottom full of cushioning and, and paper. Uh-huh. Paper all on the other sides, and the top's going to be completely covered in more bubble and paper for padding. He's going to survive. Seriously, if this thing gets broken, I'm going to be really pissed. More, pi more, more pissed than the damn bowl, because I went 10 extra steps on this. So you all saw it. He went 10 extra steps. Good job. I hate carriers. <laughs> you don't mean that. <laughs> So I have gone through about half of the banana boxes over here. Um, I was working on this one. Uh, we actually didn't bring enough banana boxes to auction today, so we had overflow. We've got this box, this box, that box. Those, I believe, are empty. Here, that's old. And then here, in, in the Goodwill bag as well, there's a um, Christmas light in there. So we've got quite a bit of stuff to go through. Let me show you what I've put on the shelves so far. So the shelves were mostly bare when I got here and I've, I've loaded quite a bit of stuff on there, at least enough to keep them busy for a day or two. Uh, we've got all of these spaghetti poodles that I bought the other day. They're so cute all up there on the shelf though. Resist the spaghetti. Okay, um, the blue cat, I cleaned. It looks so much nicer without that layer of dust on it. The Catherine Holm bowl. So we've got some brand Van Briggle. This was the piece I asked you guys about um, in the auction video. I think it's Roseville. I, I have at this point I'm filming and I haven't seen your responses yet, so um, I am curious about that piece. This horse was everything. It kind of reminded me of Italian pottery, but I don't I don't think it is. It's a very heavy weight. And so we've got Blanco down there on the Buy It Now shelf. I put this biscuit jar down here on the Buy It Now shelf. It is, I believe, I think it's glass. I'll have to do a little bit more investigating on that because I haven't actually held it up to the light to see if, if it is. Uh, we did discover that she has been repaired, which is kind of a bummer. Her braid was damaged. Dina pulled it off the shelf and noticed right away. Of course I didn't, but this one it seems to be in good condition. So... And um, that was a little bit of a bummer to discover. We've got the Tiffany and Company. This is the Buy It Now shelf. This was a really interesting piece I wanted to show you guys, and I didn't get a chance at the auction. Um, it's marked Emilon, and uh, this is, I looked these up before I bid on it because it looks like a club or some strange piece of wood. It's actually representative of a bird, and they sell like ridiculously well. So I. I guess that's a good thing. I just like, I looked at it and I'm like, what is that? And then it has all these holes in it. And I didn't know if the holes were for like an appetizer type thing. Not really sure what's going on there. Uh, we got the stone grapes, not loose sight this time. 
Here are a few of the wood pieces that you guys tend to see. Red cedar. Looks like Bill Ward. This one back here was amazing. This is the reason I bought the lot. Well, it looks like a burl. I think it's more decorative than actually uh, to be used as a vase. But it is signed on the bottom. And uh, I can't remember what it's signed. But these sell it very, very well. I, at the time, I knew who, who it was. But now I'm looking at that and I'm like, I can't read that. So, anyway, that's a really neat piece. And, um, yeah, I've got this glass piece up here I showed you guys with the cows on it. And I think that's pretty much it for today as far as loading the shelves up. I'll let them clear some of this out before I do any more. I think I am going to tackle some of this artwork before I have to leave today. Just grab pictures of it and uh, get it up and listed. A lot of the smaller pieces are likely going to be auction style. And this is another one by the May Sa Sabley. We bought, I think, five of them. The other ones are really big. And here is the larger ones. There's actually two of them. So, those ones will probably be by now.